Uh, good afternoon. Honorable CS uh, for Health, Honorable Nakumicha, Honorable PS, the Honorable uh, Ambassador, Danish Ambassador, Honorable Chair of the Novo Nordisk, uh, Honorable Lars. Allow me to associate myself with the established protocol and uh, I welcome you all to KMT Sigatundo campus today. Um, the Murphy's Law by Aaron Murphy, who died in 1990 and born in 1918, says that uh, everything that can go wrong will go wrong, and that what you fear most will one day come to happen. And I think when I got a call from the PS, I knew my doomsday had come, a day that I'll have to be addressing medics and uh, people of uh, high education, professors, doctors, and everybody. And uh, therefore, you will forgive me if you find me a bit uh, 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 incoherent in my speech. It is the position that I find myself in. Uh, I must thank specifically distinguished people that I find here who we work with uh, in, um, in healthcare. I've seen Wasami here, the ladies and gentlemen who presented as kids here are people from my constituency that we work with towards uh, this very noble health practice of making sure that people get preventive preventative uh, uh, advice and help right from their homes. I live with a diabetic father and a hypertensive mother. And uh, I caught Professor uh, Osuria telling us a story of uh, the mother-in-law. And I remember one day when I came to my village here and my father said he had, uh, which is uh, about, uh, I think about 20 months ago, and he had a pain in the chest. I just decided because I was going back to Nairobi, I just told him, uh, let's go to Nairobi and check what it is. Only to get to KU and then we were up to test, we found out that we needed to do an angioplasty. Went to current hospital and found that he had a 99% 90, blockage of the LED. So uh, we had to stand and do a lot of other things and now we're managing, it's been uh, about 24 months. And I can assure you, were enough for me being there on that day then you, the medics, know what the story would have been. So we cannot over emphasize the need for preventative advice and the need for training, especially on the cardio munaita uh, kirugan. That one. Yes, now you see. Now you see. I knew this problem was going to come. But uh, especially with the with the <laughs> non-communicable diseases, especially because uh, as the as the team from KMTC put it, we are predisposed basically because of our lifestyles and also I just picked that genetic uh, makeup could be or genetic family uh, makeup could be uh, a factor in this, I did not know. Uh, therefore, when I see this and I see you uh, Mr. Lars about a partnership to help us train our people, create capacity then uh, I know we are headed in the, direct, in the right direction and we have friends that really care for our people. Gatundu South is, uh, by and large, a rural constituency where access to medical uh, care is, not, um, is, is, is challenged, not mainly because of lack of facilities, but also because it is not in, in our culture to, you know, to go to hospital, to go for checkups and to go for all those things. We wait until we have actually an impediment in our movement or an impediment in, you know, daily uh, chores for us to seek healthcare or medical advice. And therefore, when uh, I know the government is planning to create more of our healthcare uh, volunteers, and I am told by the Honorable Sears that they are no longer going to be volunteers, she is planning on something. And I know we have approved a budget of about a billion, which uh, the Honorable PS is running. And I know there are some issues. I know there are those issues between the, uh, the, the, the devolved government and the ministry and how to streamline that. But those are small issues, of uh, those are housekeeping issues of, between us as the, as the two levels of government are going to sort out. We intend to ensure that we have availability of these volunteers and this personnel at our homesteads and uh, so that we create a culture of people seeking healthcare even when they are not completely uh, immobilized. 
So, as a member of parliament, what we shall do, and what I will endeavor to do, and I commit here to do, is to put in more budget, especially to make sure that the people who are now trained here at our KMTC are taken up and are absorbed into our system to make sure that they now help us in the villages. Because, uh, and I know, and I know the work that is happening here because, uh, uh, Dr. Tari, you know, we have been with the principal Liam Tua to Tebea Safari Naye, and uh, now we have uh, our new gentleman here we are going to continue working with. I know we have had challenges of uh, infrastructure. I have put some uh, aside some money to uh, for this current year to make sure that I know we have a shortage of classes here. We have already discussed that we are doing two classes to make sure that you, you know, there's no more congestion. And I commit to make sure that we put more money in healthcare. I'll tell you this, I come from a tea growing area where because of the, uh, of, of, of the nature of work, then our farmers uh, get arthritis and many other diseases that uh, come together with being in very cold areas for a long time. And I can tell you the challenges we get before they get to this hospital is the diagnosis. And a lot of times, uh, you know, we have a huge challenge in that. So what you're addressing in this partnership is the soul, is the, is, is the most intricate part of our medical uh, uh, ecosystem. And therefore, I trust that uh, we are going to be alleviating our people from a lot of trouble and from a lot of pain and from a lot of, uh, you know, troubles of losing their, their loved ones where it could have been prevented. Uh, I also know that um, we have some challenges at the hospital because of how the cover and the, the you know, the medical cover has been, the social cover has been. Uh, you know, uh, CS that we are working really hard to make sure that, we, although I'll get with challenges, but you know, as a government, we're trying to make sure that we get everybody covered because mm -hmm. this goes to the list mm -hmm. of the people in our society and these are the people that we must really address because they're the, the they're the cog of the machine that makes sure that our economy is is running so all i can do is uh, give a commitment that we shall support this program with my own little mega resources at the cdf and also at the national level and so we cabinet secretary for health Nakumicha Susan Wafula, that's how she likes her names, ordered. She is very particular. Principal Secretary for uh, Health, uh, for Public Health, uh, Mary Modoni. Member of Parliament, Katundu South, the Honorable Gigi Kagombe. Our partners from Denmark and Novo Nordisk. Leaders of this hospital, I think the chairman, uh, Mr. Jinji, is also around. Nawatu Agatundu Hamjambu. Hamjambu Tena. Salimiane Kwamkono. Sanji Sana. I am very delighted to be here. And uh, the CEO has been harassing me, Susan, about this day. And uh, today, you know, I was sure I would not be available because you, you know the exercise that we are doing. On the government road show this morning, we were with the uh, CS Professor Kindiki in the interior, and just now with the Machogu, Ezekiel Machogu in education. So I was sure I would not be available. But uh, I want to tell the CEO, as fate would have it, uh, how can you say no to Susan Nakumija So I found myself here. Um, I, I welcome Susan. The last time we were in the same function, it was in Kitare, where you come from. And now you, that event had nothing to do with you, with your ministry. It was my ministry. But I, you said you have to come. And now that you have got your own event in my own hometown, not just in your home, own hometown, some people say that I am problematic. And maybe they are right. So if you believe that I'm problematic, this problem started here. Because this is where I was born, in this very hospital, where, where, where we are. So it's, it's a great day for me on, on several fronts, not uh, one principally because you are here, 
Uh, but second thing, because of this institution, uh, in the year 2015, as a new member of parliament, I, I had a dream that we can have a KMTC here. And we didn't have money, we didn't have a building, we just took on some classrooms here for uh, some building renovated. We had a classroom. I remember when we admitted the first 40 students and I didn't even have an idea where they would, they would, they would spend the night. So I, I took some my money and I went to the market here. I bought some mattresses and I, they, we put them in Katundu Primary. So the first accommodation for KMTC was actually in Gatundu Primary School. Where, where Walilala Hapu, today, I don't know, principal, I don't know how many students we have. 830 later, it's one of our most leading, you know, uh, KMTCs. This KMTC was started 100%. Uh, there was no money from government that time. So 100% was funded by CDF Gatundu South uh, from those 40 students. Or every year I ensured that we added a uh, space that for uh, close to 100 150 students uh, to be where we are today this KMTC also uh, Bona CEO please go back to your records uh, and I want to suggest that you uh, when you're doing your examination in every examination you include one question in every examination which is the first KMTC in the Republic of Kenya to have a bus? Wakizama katundu wa mepita. Yeah, because we became the first KMTC. And I remember I was so proud of it that I, I instructed that picha uh, yangu, na kusama it's donated by NGCDF Gatolu South, ilika hapo. For a whole two years, Mbaka Uchaguzi at 2017, what was it? Nikaondoa. But I remember uh, one time our students went to Eldoret uh, for some some festival huko, and uh, the other KMTCs huko wakaona bus donated by NGCD of Katundu. And my colleague members of parliament, they were in big trouble. Usababu wanaaza kuniambia, wanaambiwa tunataka bus kama hile ya Katundu. It's because I really, really believe in KMTC from day one. That even when we didn't have funding, we didn't know where this would come from. You know, this, this, you know, I, I was committed that we have to be here.